Today I'm going to talk about my torque wrench and I'm going to show you on this example here of a disc rotor lock ring. Okay, so what I'm doing here is just tightening it on and then I'm going to use my torque wrench to ensure I get the proper torque. 40 newton meters. Now, let's look at the comments. So I made this video here on carbon fiber steerer tube compression plugs <laughs> and uh, I got a bunch of uh, feedback and comments. So, you know, I just wanted to address those and kind of put them into play let everybody visualize them what i've done is use my torque wrench and somebody actually commented on that so we're just going to take a quick look at this and see what happened here so this guy here batu seaton 9606 says i have little experience with torque wrenches but shouldn't you hold the torque wrench at the handle to ensure torquing the bolts to spec like the park tool demonstrates now he means this uh, particular video from park tool so i reply because i went and i watched it interesting yet at the end he tosses it <laughs> okay i thought about it and i also noticed that uh the guy in the video he doesn't store it properly either so what i'm going to do here is not necessarily a how-to but just what i do with my torque wrench to store it away so here's the video and what he does is he uses the torque wrench properly it comes to about seven newton meters and then he does it improperly and it comes to 10 newton meters and then <laughs> <laughs> when he's done with it, he just chucks it. So, like, did I just see that? He just, <laughs> he just threw the torque wrench over and, I don't know, what, what is that really saying? So, okay, let, let's apply this here to my video. So, apparently, I held it wrong. Now, there are two bolts on the stem. The first time, I did it properly. And the second time, there you go, he caught me. I'm doing it improperly. And I'm holding it wrong. And what that's going to do is it's going to add too much torque onto the bolt. Now, I have my torque wrench set at 5 Newton meters. And I I'm guessing holding it there is going to add maybe two or three extra newton meters. So what's going to happen is it's going to be maybe seven to eight newton meters, which to be perfectly honest, is it, it's acceptable for a stem on a carbon steer too. Okay, but you know, now I'm going to show you how to use a torque wrench uh, according to what my commenter said and his reference. So here we go. So you want to hold it down there, not up there. Okay, you want to hold it on the handle. Now, go we want to use our right hand on the handle and apply our pressure apply our torque and here we go there's your click okay so when we're done do we just toss it no so to store our torque wrench when we're done with it we release all the tension off first like i'm doing here and there you go it's all off and then we bring it up to the minimum and then we tighten it back up okay so i'm just making sure you see like it's nice and loose there's no torque on it because it's a big spring in there so we just we bring it to the minimum tighten it up and that's the way we're going to store it. and do we just chuck it <laughs> no <laughs> what we do is we take it and we place it down where we want to store it like it's a good tool we drop it no we just place it down it's a good tool i hope this helps you out and if you want to see the original video you can click right here <laughs>